welcome back to the channel guys uh, this is the second day and part three of what a great surprise and adventure we had for those of you who are not familiar with the previous two videos um, you're welcome to go look on the link I will link them on this uh, end of this video uh, we spending the weekend with uh, one of our subscribers which uh, had two bucket list rides on his list he's from Gauteng Koki Matika the first of his bucket list was um, Sivavik Sport, which we done yesterday. And the second one is the Swartberg Mountains, which we planning to do today. Uh, thank thankfully, the weather is fantastic today, compared to the previous day where we had rain and wind, and we were actually contemplating on not doing the Swartberg. But this morning we were greeted with a beautiful sun, no wind, perfect riding conditions and we on our way now to Lanesburg which was 50 k's from where we stayed at Onse Plaas, Onse Karoo Plaas actually. Um, that's also a very nice place to stay and I would recommend you guys also to look that up or if you're ever traveling in that area it's worth a stay, it's really nice there. The hosts, um, I think Anne and Chris do fantastic people so it's very nice to stay there. And uh, we are on our way now to Lanesburg to fill up with um, petrol and most probably grab a, uh, grab a something for breakfast. We are about uh, 200 kilometers from the Swartberg Mountains of which it will take us then another 30 k's through the Swartberg which will form part 4 of our vlog. Like I said in the previous video, um, today's video is basically just riding um, to Prince Albert fr where we will end this vlog and continue and, and then on the fourth vlog we'll show you some incredible footage of the Swartberg Mountains and the ride and it is quite scary for those of you that are scared of heights like me and Monica are scared of heights but in any case stick with us and let's um, like I said in the previous video um, there's quite a twist that happens here, it's like quite a strange twist and I'll explain to you now what it is. Hello. <laughs> now this was uh, the picture that you see on the left here is of a cat that actually walked into the ablution blocks where we were staying the previous night at about around about 11 o'clock when Monica went to go um, shower and get ready for bed this cat just walked in and Monica, the people that know Monica know she's a cat lady, so that was like she, she had actually sent me this video um, when she got back she sent the video to me to show me the cat and saying what adorable cat it was um, we just left it at that, uh, I mean I'm used to this um, it happens to her quite often that cats cross the path After traveling 50 kilometers from where we had stayed, um, 17 kilometers was gravel or 20 kilometers was gravel and 30 was star. We got to Lanesburg, a very small little town, and uh, soon found the engine garage where we were going to fill up with um, petrol. And at this engine garage is also a very, w uh, a very nice place to have a breakfast. I think it's a wimpy that we encountered here. And for this time of the morning, it's already, I'd say it's already about half past eight in the morning. 
the space was quite packed for a small town, but um, with all the uh, vehicles traveling between um, Joburg and uh, Cape Town, a lot of people stop here during the day on their trips back for a rest spot. But she thinks she's a stray cat. Yeah, not a well cared for cat. Yeah, she thinks she's like a, she thinks she's like a, a, a no, a lion cat. Ah. Yeah, that's okay, correct. After a very lacquer breakfast, actually the name of the breakfast was like a breakfast and it was co caused a bit of confusion because Koki thought we were asking just for a lacquer breakfast and <laughs> before he read the menu, when he read the menu, it was the, the, the breakfast we had was a lacquer breakfast and we, lacquer he, he's, he, is an Afrikaans word for yeah, nice breakfast and it was really a nice breakfast is what we actually needed to start our day after a bit of a rough evening of um, brying and uh, drinking and chilling out uh, although Koki doesn't drink but me and Monica had, uh, uh, had indulged ourselves quite thoroughly the previous night but we were strong so we were prepared we, yeah we're getting ready to hit the highway which this highway is very infamous for trucks I mean it's truck of the truck of the truck and um, it's about an 88 kilometer stretch before we take a left turn onto Prince Al Albert Road which will lead us into Prince Albert <laughs> You know what these cables here they're rolled up you must actually chop them off for me because they're my old hey i'm so impressed you can start dead center dead straight and steady i mean she doesn't do this with the bike at all who monica <laughs> yeah so it's a far game
Now that brings us back to um, how this vlog three got here. This part three, which was never going to be included in the in the vlogs, but this thing actually happened, which I mentioned earlier, which was quite weird. Going back to the cat in the ablution blocks, right? Um, while we were riding, I saw another cat like that cross my cross my um, my path. And these cats are extremely rare. They actually call tortoise shell cats. Tortoise shell cats are predominantly female cats, and they've got exclusive like three colours to them. Uh, mostly not white, uh, and that's why they're called tortoise shell cats. It's very rare to get a male cat like this, but it is possible. But 90% of these cats are female cats. Now. Um, we were on our way to Prince Alb Albert to actually uh, make a stop there because um, Koki Matika wanted to actually meet one of his friends there that he hadn't seen for years. His name is Carl and uh, so we were just tagging along and we we're going to stop there and have a coffee. A few minutes earlier where we had had breakfast at Lionsburg, the whole parking lot was full of cats that I, I estimate around about six cats I saw different cats but they were definitely stray cats and we were actually discussing while we were having breakfast how we're actually going to need another cat or two at at home we've got three at the moment but the one cat is already 16 years old he's died twice but he's been revived twice so we actually predicting that one of these days we will need to get two cats uh, because uh, we, we want to have four cats in total. Well, not exactly I want four cats, but my wife feels she needs four cats. And um, yeah, so we had been discussing it and we had, uh, and, and as you had seen earlier in the vlog, we were pulling Monica's legs um, under her with, um, with these cat jokes that we were doing. The guy we're going to go meet, Carl, which is uh, one of Cocky's friends, um, that he hadn't seen in a while. And I think the way Cocky explained it to me that um, this guy, he knows very well in the sense they play those uh, African drums together, which is one of Cocky's passions. And what happened here was so flippin' ironic because um, while we were there and we met him at the, at the hotel there uh, in, here in Prince Albert, um, he was him and him and uh, Cookie were discussing, and me and Monica were having like a, a Savannah light and a and a plate of chips in between, and just listening to the guy speaking. Um, Cookie explained to him where we stay, and um, he said, "Yeah, he knows the area because he always has to go put his cat here at Skuman's Hook at uh, Cattery." Um, because he's struggling so much, he's got uh, so much work f for, so he has to put the cat in for periods of like three, four weeks up to a month, and that he's extremely stressed out that uh, next year he's got a contract to work abroad for a year and he doesn't have a home for this cat that's uh, nine years old. And this is where the irony um, starts. It's basically the same kind of cat that crossed Monica's path the previous night. And we had actually seen a cat like this cross our motorcycles, which we didn't have footage of when we were traveling on the gravel road too. And now suddenly we rock up at this place. This cat that um, Carl has is nine years old. It's a female. Name is Josie or Josephine, something like that and um he wants um he wants to maybe find a home for her and monica and him have been discussing it now for a week or so uh, to maybe bring this cat to our house and see if it adapts with our cats and um yeah it's, it's a, as you can see it's a very very beautiful cat and um we're really interested and uh it looks like we might land up getting this cat <laughs> Hopefully after this video when Monica sees the, the, the footage of the cat, she's going to make a quick decision on this. What mel? Huh? Milk from somewhere. Oh. 
Yeah, and with the milk spilling out on the pannier bag, I'll leave you guys on this uh, vlog three. Yeah. Let me know what you think. Should Monica get this cat? Should she not get the cat? The two cats look so identical. Uh, the one that she saw the previous night and Carl's cat. And uh, is it fate or is this just, uh, you know, to follow, as we would say it in Afrikaans? Um, yeah, let us know what you think and um, we'll catch you guys on the fourth uh, fourth uh, video with like I said that will be m a much longer video of us doing the Swartberg mountains where the weather will really turn nasty on the one side so nasty that you can't actually even park your bike without holding it or, or else it will blow away and um, like I said we'll leave you there and um, I'll leave you also with a little inset of um, uh, Cookie and Carl chatting and catch you on the last vlog for the milk, the milk. Oh. ran out. <laughs> milk right, away. I'm watching that. 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 I'm watching